you know, my first real frank memory was um, I had been coaching at Eastern Michigan, and unfortunately we had gotten let go. Uh, my wife was pregnant with our first child. I went to the coaches' convention without a job. Nothing was really going very well. I went to get on the plane to fly home without a job. And I had heard there might be something at, at OU. So I'm waiting at my gate. Sure enough, up walks Frank Solich to get on my flight on Southwest Airlines, which you sit wherever you want. Well, guess where I sat? I sat next to Frank, that was on Wednesday. Kind of had an interview, we had never met. I knew him as this legendary coach, you know, from Nebraska. And Thursday he called, said, hey, we want to interview you. I, I left Thursday, interviewed Friday, drove home. And to tell you the, the kind of guy Frank Solich is, I still get is before offering me the job, he wanted to talk to my pregnant wife and make sure she was doing okay. And that still means a lot to me. And uh, this will be my 10th year at OU, and I owe that all to, to Coach Solich. You look around at all the people in this room, why is it so important to, to honor Frank this way and, and have all these, all these people in this room today? I think it's a testament to all coaches, but especially the ones that do it right and are fortunate enough to do it at an institution like Ohio University. You know, you, you spend more time with these guys at a time in their life when they're changing, you know, obviously physically, but mentally and emotionally, and, and we become more their parents than their parents at times. And obviously nobody's done it any better than Frank, and, and uh, I think all, this is testament to that.